Okay, so the last video I did was regarding my own personal um, ideal newborn cloth diaper stash. But I wanted to do a video for a more budget conscious stash for a newborn. I know a lot of people don't want to spend a lot on a newborn stash. Which I can't really blame you because some babies don't really use it for very long. But this is what I would think to be a pretty good stash. Um, even if your child does use it for a while, I think this would be a pretty comfortable stash to use. And it gives you a little bit of leeway with washing and stuff. So let's get right into it. So I would get ideally 36 newborn prefolds, but you can get by with 24. I've known people to get by with 12 even. I would just personally recommend 36 if your budget allows. These are the Oh So Cozy Better Fit Infant, I believe is the size. These ones are really comparable to the Clothies prefolds, which I do also have, so I know firsthand these are very, very similar. This is what I used with my son. I actually didn't have very many of the Clothies with him. We had mostly just these. As you can see, we have quite a few. These wash well. They work well. We still use these as doublers, or not anymore. We use them for pee cleanup now because he's potty trained, but these are really good. So again, 36 ideally, but you can get by with 24. With those, you're going to want some kind of closure just to prolong the use of your covers. It'll keep them clean, or that's the goal anyway. You can use Boingos or Snappies. Um, I actually prefer Snappies for newborns, but I only had Boingos upstairs, so that's what I'm showing. But you just want a closure. Or you could just wrap around the baby and then secure the cover around it. It really doesn't matter. But I would personally recommend a snappy if budget allows. And then I have two different options of budget covers. Um, there are cheaper covers out there. I chose these ones because you can get them on websites that have free shipping. Which is a huge pro in my book. And they have low limits for um, free shipping. So you can get Rumparoos and Nikki's and Imagine all on the Nikki's Diapers website. Which I'm not a huge fan of the Nikki's Diapers website. But they do have a low minimum for free shipping. And if you're purchasing these when you're pregnant, you don't really need super quick shipping. So it's fine. But um, I believe all of these covers are $10 new. You can also look into Diaper Right brand covers. The only thing is, like I said, I chose these ones because one, I have them. I've used them. I like them. I would recommend them. And also you can get them on Nikki's Diapers, which has a really low minimum for free shipping. And... They're only 10 bucks, so it's not bad. Um, these ones, the Nikki's and Imagine, are going to last your child a little bit longer. They're bigger cut, but that's why I decided to do both. I do four of these, four of these. So if your baby's really small, they will probably only fit in the Rumparoos, but those four should be fine. You might need to hand wash, but it'll get you by. And then when your baby outgrows the Rumparoos, they'll still fit in these more than likely. Um, but there will be a good amount of time where they overlap and all eight will fit, which will be really nice. Um, but altogether, the stash is probably around $100, which really isn't bad. Maybe a little bit more than $100. And if you don't have the money for prefolds because they're about $2 a piece, you can use flower sack towels, which are only a dollar a piece. And also those aren't newborn sized. You can use those your entire diapering days. Same with the newborn prefolds, though. Like I said, we used those until my son potty trained, and then even then we used them for potty training purposes. So I would highly, highly recommend newborn prefolds. They're not super expensive, and they last you a long time. They're great for doublers as well. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching.